Martin, you're a consultant head and neck surgeon at UCLH. Yeah. And you, Francesca, are a soprano singer from the Royal Opera House Jet Park, a young artist programme. And what we're going to do is use this rather alarmingly large piece of equipment to have a look at an, a larynx in action, I understand. We are. OK, so what actually is this? So uh, this is equipment that we use in the clinic, in the hospitals every day. And it's uh, a nasendoscope endoscope stack. And we use it for looking at the throat and diagnosing people. OK, and can we, can we actually do that now? Absolutely, we can. OK, are you ready for this? <laughs> so, now, what's, what's the actual device like? Yeah, so what we've got here is three bits to this. We've got a light source here, we've got a processor, and we've got a strobe light um, generator. This itself is the endoscope. In the old days, these used to have... Uh, they were fibre optics, and so you'd get an image that was made up like the eye of an insect. Nowadays, we're fortunate enough to have very high-definition cameras, much better than the ones in your phones, right on the end, so we can see right inside. OK, so can we do that now? You, is Absolutely. that all right with you? Yes. OK, so we're going <laughs> to drop the endoscope down, actually, to look right at Francesca's larynx. That's precisely what okay. we're going to do. Okay. You'll be able to see the image on the screen here. OK, thank you very much. So, just breathe gently through your nose. Relax your shoulders. This is going to tickle a little bit. Could I see the screen, Idris? <laughs> thank you very much. So is that the back of the nose? So, no, we're actually going through the nose at the moment. The nose is very important for the, for the voice, actually. It's mm. an air conditioning device. Um, so it warms, humidifies, filters the air that we breathe to make sure that everything that we breathe in is nice and clean. That's why we, it's bad to breathe through your mouth. And that's the, that's the larynx? It is. So what we're looking at there, it's a very alien-looking thing, isn't it? Um, is the larynx in the middle of the view there. The vocal cords are the two grey things moving in and out forming a V-shape in the centre. The big floppy thing is called the epiglottis. It's like a trapdoor that stops food and drink going down the wrong way. And the two round things towards the back are called arytenoids. They're bones that move the vocal cords in and out. Francesca, would you feel OK to just sing a note for us? OK. Any note? Absolutely. Go for it. So that I could hear, I could see that but the larynx came together. I couldn't see you'll, them moving. You'll see it now. So we're now switched to a different light source that's going to flash uh, light out of phase with the frequ f fundamental frequency of the sound that she makes. Basically, it's strobing like in discos when I was, when I was a young man a long time ago. <laughs> it slows down movement, so you should see this here. So if you'd like to make a slightly higher frequency sound, Francesca. Good. Oh, well done. And it's now, serious. could you do a glissando for us from as low as you can to as high as you can? Okay, <laughs> it feels so weird. Okay. Uh... Beautiful. So you can see the vocal cords <laughs> lengthening and shortening 